Hello ladies, my name is Olivia and today's video is a collaboration with Rapunzel. I have in my lap the scarf of the month and I'm going to be wrapping it in a couple different styles including the style that I have on my head. Um, I'm going to keep, be keeping it simple. I'm not going to be adding any, any extra scarf. Sometimes I do add an extra scarf just for variety and to show you how you can incorporate the scarf into your collection. But today I'm keeping it, keeping it more simple. It's really, really hot outside. It's, it's June. So, um, I'm just going to be doing one scarf wraps today. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this this month's scarf is a square it's a a silky material you know it's it's um polyester which is but it's it's kind of nice it's it's really it's not just kind of nice it's a very nice scarf it feels really good and unlike some of the of the silky scarves it, i feel like it's going to be grabby it has on the back it's it's really grabby and it's silky on the front but it, it doesn't feel like it's going to be slip sliding all over my head um but it's an it's a really big size and it has this fantastic border it's the colors of this gold it's got black brown and then this gorgeous teal and these are the designs in the center are like postage stamp designs it, it's really interesting it's really interesting and then the second piece is the brooch it's a gold tone brooch with um, pearl and crystal detailing it's almost like a flower or a snow I guess you could say snowflake but it's a it's a flower it's rather pretty so that said, let's get into wrapping. I have on my head my signature shaper. Now it's a small, it's a smaller shaper. Um, I thought today I wouldn't go with the big, huge Wendy. Uh, I would go with something a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit smaller. Um, so what I did for that, for that wrap that I would just took off is I folded, have the square held up like so I'm holding the point and I'm just folding down a triangle like this. I'm going to bring it around. This is the way I've been wearing my square scarves recently. I'm going to bring it around. And I'm going to place it on my head at an angle. I have this piece I'm bringing down and around to the back like so. Now you can run a pin in it. I don't, I don't, um, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm giving you that option. Excuse me. So I have the piece here. I'm bringing around the tail. The pressure, the tension is going to hold it in place. And I have all of this. Now I'm folding this in just to make it look neat. Kind of going to crinkle this up a bit just to be able to keep the tension on that one little little piece. Hold it in, in place. I'm going to fold. I have this piece here. It's really short. I'm folding it inside. Now there are probably going to be some really nifty pleats when I pull this up and I'm good with that. Now when I get here, I'm, I've noticed that this is a little blousey. I'm just going to tuck it in a little bit, play with the pleating a little bit, open it up. Now I have this piece here. I'm twisting forward just a little bit. And again, now I'm going to open this up because I have all of these little, little small pieces. I don't want to see them. I'm going to open this up and encase them inside of this longer portion, just like this. I'm going to bring this around just like so. 
and I am going to find the pocket back here and I'm going to tuck this in just like this. Okay, and you can see the back. If there's a little piece here that's, that's wonky, just tuck it in. Okay, now I'm going to be putting the pin right here. Going to, I'm going to attempt to use my rubber band trick. I'm hoping this one isn't stretched out too, too far, but I'm going to place it around like so. I just don't, I, I don't feel like putting a hole in my scarf today. I'm going to adjust it and there you have it. Now I think if I get a smaller hairband this will fit tighter to the head and be really cute. I can move it up further and that's the thing about using the hair tie is I can move the the pin once it's on. If I put it on and down here and I don't like the placement of it, I can then move it up without having to take the pin off. And that's the first look. Find the, there we go. Okay. For the second look, I'm gonna go with something more traditional for a square scarf. I think it might be, be really pretty. I'm just folding over the front portion. So I'm holding the scarf up by the tip and then I'm going to fold down. Now I'm only folding about this much. You can see that's how much is left over down at the bottom and then on the edges. I don't wanna fold it over too much because I wanna have a, a little bit I don't want to fold it in half. I want to have it larger. I'm going to place it on my head like so. Now I could definitely just do a standard wrap around or I can bring it in front like so. Bring it underneath. I'm going to flip the, the top up. I'm going to flip the back up just for a second so that I can show you. I typically wouldn't do this, but so you can see, I'm gonna wrap and crisscross, taking it around the back. And then I'm just gonna do a quick bow or a quick knot in the back. You can do it twice, cause this one is a silky one, I think, but do not tie it too tightly or you will choke yourself. So I'm thinking this is Look number two, and of course, adding your pin on the side right here. Now, if you find that this is annoying, if this keeps falling forward, like, like so, which well, I can show you. I don't mind it so much, but some may find it annoying. I'm going to bring this back up. But when you put it on, get it right down to here, take your thumbs and grab forward a little bit, grab a little piece, and it brings it tighter into, into your base like this. And you can adjust to make it even, even tighter like this. Now, you could also take in the same family of wrap and do it, do the tying over top the tail in the back like so. I've also seen, that was, that's really kind of fun, instead of having it centered, taking your scarf off center, doing the, the same 
keep that back there. Bring around and tie off to the side. Now with this style, this way, you can take this tail and you can leave it in the back or you can bring it over your shoulder, which is kind of another fun way. You can even you know, bring it around so that it lays in the front. So it's, it's interesting to play with this, this style. And of course, you probably want more than one knot and be careful not to tie it too tightly. I'm just going to do a couple more because I think it'd be it's, this is really fun to play with. I've been playing with square scarves a lot recently and they're so much fun. Now I'm going to take I'm taking the scarf with the same fold and I'm going to put it on um turban style. I'm going to scooch back just a little bit, give myself some space. Okay, so I have my scarf just like so. I'm going to bring this up, put this out of my way. This is sort of sort of Rosie the Riveter style. I'm doing a knot. You can do two knots, you can do one knot. I'm probably going to do what I'm probably going to do, no, what I'm going to do is instead of so I have it on my head like this and bringing the tails up. I'm going to take and wrap around, find the pocket once and twice. And this should lock that in place better. So instead of doing two knots, I just, oh, that's entertaining. Um, I just wrapped the tail around twice and it will help lock that in place. Okay, coming forward. Now I'm taking this guy around the back, adjust here, and then I'm going to move this square, this piece out of the way. This is quite entertaining. Um, keep you back here. I'm going to take this piece back and holding the first in place, with the tension, it covers it up. Adjusting these pieces. I'm going to bring this piece around. I'm going to find the pocket and I'm going to tuck it. And I hope it stays. Okay, this piece, I'm going to roll. I need to flip. Flip it over so that the shiny side is out. Otherwise you'll have it inside out. And I can get this big floof up here. Like this. I'm going to spin. I can spin it this way. Okay. Then I can just bring this around like so as well and tuck it in. And I have this type of, of look. Now with the silky one, I might use pin. I would might suggest pins to hold this in place because it's it could fall out like a straight pin or hijab magnet something of that nature now if you found that this that this didn't um stay it can always take it around the back and tie it in a knot so we take our take our tiffle ears and pull them around the back give it give it a quick tie back here Tuck these ends, just like so. Okay, 
And then you have this piece, which can come straight back, can go off to the side. It can do the fold once you get the, the side folded out properly. It can just get folded down for a little floof in the front. Like so. So you have this kind of a wrap. Now I think in keeping with this style, we can also put these three pieces together like this. kind of overlap them and bring them back like this and adjust these to be the way you like them you don't have to bring them all back at once Like so, do like so, and our friend here, like so. And then, it's not quite long enough to tuck, so just uh, twist them together and a straight pin to hold them in. It's kind of fun, floofy. We could also just roll, take all three of them and roll them under to get a nice, a nice big poof in the front and run a quick pin in the back. Make sure not to stab yourself in the head like so. And then that's an interesting, uh, turn around and see, that's an interesting look as well. I think I might do one more. Take this off. I'm going to do the fold the same as I did before for the first one. Just on my head. Now this time I'm going to run a pin in the back just at the corner into my shaper. And I'm going to bring this piece around to here. Now, instead of making the tail and bringing it up, I am just folding over the front, the front edge. I'm going to leave this open and I'm going to bring it over like so, just to kind of give it, give it a veil like appearance. You leave these down, bring this over, and I'm going to fold forward and forward. Okay. Now see, I have this here. You can turn that under. I'm going to put the pin right here, and I'm hoping not to stab myself in the ear. I'm trying to catch all the layers of the scarf and a little bit of the shaper just to hold it in place. Okay. 
without damaging my, my fingers with the stabby parts. Okay, and so I have a cute, a cute veil for the last look. Cute tails and stuff. I think if you don't, if you want an elegant look, this is cute. This is cute. So I'm going to say after wrapping with it, this is for silky scarves. This is one of the easiest silky scarves I've wrapped with. I'm really pleased overall with the size of the square. Sometimes we can get smaller size squares. They're just awkward or ones that are just way too big and are again, awkward. This one I think is a great size for doing a lot of different wraps. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, this is the scarf of the month for June and the brooch that came in the kit. Have a wonderful day, ladies. I'll see you in the next tutorial.